Good morning, Leslie. My name is Latrina, and the other day you spoke with my son, Chris, who reached out to offer you all the free video showing some things that you might be able to do to improve your online presence. So this is the free video that we've made for you. As he mentioned on the phone, there's no video, there's no selling in the video. Um, we believe givers gain. So when our free time is available, we make a few of these videos for other small businesses, hoping to bring value and service to communities. Um, but your feedback would be greatly appreciated. Please let us know after you've watched it what you thought, if it was helpful or not, just so that we can continue to make these in a way that is helpful. So what I'm going to cover is content, backlinks, and citations, and why these are important website elements for you to have. We'll take a look at your company's online presence, and I'll make any recommendations that I see that could help you to boost your business. So content is anything that's on your website, such as the words, the images, the videos. You want to have enough content because this is how Google learns your business, finds out what services you offer, and presents you in front of viewers who are looking for the services. Ideally, you want to have 1,500 words at least on your homepage and at least 500 on your back pages to rank well. Citations are listings that you can get in directories like Yellow Pages or Yelp. It merely includes your business name, address, and phone number, but you want to have these sprinkled throughout the internet because this is a way to rank your business to Google. If you're presented throughout the internet, then it's a validation that you are a legitimate company. So you want to get as many of these as you can and more than your competition. And then backlinks are the placement of your website address onto other websites. So for example, if you have Facebook, if you're on Instagram, LinkedIn, Yelp, any of these, these are considered backlinks because they direct traffic away from those sites back to your website. But not all backlinks are created equal, so just make sure that they're related to your line of work. So as a garage door repair, you'd want to make sure that you're listed something um, having to do with garage doors or home improvement, remodeling, etc rather than pizza restaurants or home or auto detailing. The more backlinks you have, the more popular your website becomes. To Google, it's a measure of popularity, but it's also a measure of trustworthiness. A company that doesn't have very many backlinks um, doesn't um, garner trust from Google. So um, definitely get as many backlinks as you can. So what I'm going to do is come, I'll come back to your website momentarily, but I want to hop over to Google just briefly. So when I did a search for garage door repairs and Rosa, what we see initially are some ads at the very top of the screen, which is pretty typical. And then we move down to the map pack. This is a prime real estate area for Google. Okay. Um, and you want to be listed here as you are. 30 to 40 percent of traffic actually takes place in this small area alone. And then Google continues to rank businesses in order of preference. Um, you're also listed on the front page. And that's awesome because, as you might know from your experience with Google, people don't tend to click too far away from the initial pages, right? So you want to be and remain on the initial pages so that you can get the most visibility and traffic. So hopping over to your website. I don't have a whole lot of feedback because your website is um, very nice. I would recommend more content on your homepage. Um, it's a little bit light as far as 1500 words. You want to definitely get that. It seems like a lot. And a lot of business owners think like, why do I, should I go through the trouble of doing that? Um, it's, really, it's really for the purposes of Google crawling your site and just becoming more familiar and spending more time on your site. And the more time they spend on your site, the more often you're going to appear in the search results because they'll be in tune and understand exactly what you do, right? They'll have opportunity to grab all of the keywords from your description and your text. So it's worth it. Um, the other thing I would recommend is to put a contact us form somewhere at the top of your screen. It doesn't have to be a huge form. Um, I know you have this button here, but a lot of times um, people will fill out a form if they see that right away. So if you have a, just a short form where you can collect the name, email, phone number, that would give you more likelihood for people to give your information, give their information on your page when they visit. Some people do call. But as you know, sometimes you miss a call or sometimes when people call, they hang up, they don't leave a voicemail. And often sometimes they do leave a voicemail, but it's hard to, dice, to you know, to, to make out what it is they're saying. Um, the numbers might be a little jarbled. So at least you're getting a hot lead or the opportunity to get a hot lead when you have that information 
um, at the top of the screen where they can enter that right away. All right, with that, let's jump over to your data real quick. And I, like I said, you're doing pretty well. Um, my The thing that stands out to me immediately is you have a lot of keywords. So that's really great because that's helping Google to figure out exactly what it is you're doing. Um, you're ranking very well with those. I, I'm going to take a peek in a second, but I'm pretty sure that you're probably um, getting a lot of buyer intent keywords to help people find you. The one thing I have noticed, however, is that at one time you had 200, well, 214,000 backlinks. That's a lot of backlinks, but now you're only down to 312. So that's significantly low. And remember what I said, that backlinks are a measure of trustworthiness and popularity. So your popularity and trustworthiness measure is pretty low. Um, with Google right now. Your domains are also low. You have 146, which was not terrible, but it's not very high either. But down, you're down to 55. So continually put backlinks out there in the internet because backlinks do not stay indefinitely. As you can see, this is a drastic um, depiction of that. Um, you definitely are significantly down. So definitely go out and get some more backlinks so that you stay relevant on the internet. Um, so that Google knows that you are, in in fact, a legitimate business. Okay, now what I'm looking at your keywords that you're ranking for, you're doing pretty good there. Garage doors, Marin, 70 people searched out your number nine on the list. Repair, garage doors, some of these are um, national keywords. The ones that have like a local um, city next to them, like the Santa Rosa, that's a buyer intent local keywords so those you want to get as many of those as possible and you have quite a few so great there 60 people search that in your number seven so you're ranking pretty good with the keywords that you actually have so kudos for that you're doing very well in that area my only um, feedback then would just be to continue to add backlinks so that you stay relevant with that i'm going to end this video i hope it's been helpful for you please let me know if you got any benefit or learned anything whatsoever from the video. In the meantime, have a lovely um, day and much continued success for Keen Garage Doors. Bye-bye.